know I'm in before I do cash up here. Everybody know I'm in before the state, but this is a real bit too, but that ain't my choice. Well, it turns out Deion Sanders was right, and we just saw one of the biggest flips in college football recruiting history. Travis Hunter, who was the nation's number one ranked recruit in the 2022 class, informed Florida State on Wednesday that he will sign with Jackson State. Now, before we get to today's video, make sure you guys smash that subscribe button, turn on those notifications if you're new to the channel. If you love college football content, this is definitely the place for you. Also, make sure to give this video a thumbs up as it really helps the algorithm of the video and helps share it with more college football fans. If you want your team to flip a five-star recruit to your school, give this video a thumbs up and it'll happen by the end of the day. So this is massive news, not because this is the number one recruit in all of college football flipping on signing day. This is the number one recruit going to Power 5 and, you know, Blue Blood Florida State to an HBCU in Jackson State, which uh, I don't think has ever happened. I don't think an HBCU has ever landed a player of this caliber in the recruiting process. So this is a historic day in college football and Deion Sanders is the man of the hour. Seriously, yesterday, Deion Sanders was on record saying that they're going to shock the world today, and boy, did he ever. Let me tell you guys this. Um, signing day is tomorrow. I'm going on record to tell you guys we're going to shock the country. I'm telling you right now, you've heard it from me, we're going to shock the country. You're, going, you're not going to wait to this air to air this what I'm saying. All right, we'll cut it. And yeah, every new station. Put that out today. Every news station, I promise you. Travis Hunter posted this on Twitter just a few minutes ago. Florida State has always been a beacon for me. I grew up down there. That's where my roots are. And I never doubted that I would play for the Seminoles. It's a dream that is hard to let go of. But sometimes we are called to step into a bigger future than the one we imagined for ourselves. For me, that future is at Jackson State University. Jerry Rice, Doug Williams, and of course the legend, JSU's own Walter Payton. Historically black colleges and universities have a rich history in football. I want to be part of that history, and more. I want to be part of that future. I'm making this decision so that I can light the way for others to follow, make it a little easier for the next player to recognize that HBCUs may be everything you want, and more. An exciting college experience, a vital community, and a life-changing place to play football. I look forward to working with the iconic Deion Sanders, and especially with my fellow Tigers. Along with Coach Prime, they have made me feel like I'm already part of the team, like I'm home, and I can't wait to welcome the next class of top athletes into the family of HBCUs. National recruiting analyst Andrew Ivins said this, Am I shocked? Yes, absolutely shocked. But start connecting the dots. Yes, Travis Hunter has had a documentary series online. He's all about that brand. He's going to have an opportunity to make money wherever he goes. It's a different age of football we're in right now. Now, for those of you who might be unfamiliar with Travis Hunter, let me give you guys a quick scouting report. He's legitimately cornerback one and wide receiver one for the class of 2022. Makes everything he does look extremely easy. Smooth, explosive, competitive. At times, it seems like he's almost a human cheat code as he's always making the highlight reel play at the right time. Video game numbers during prep career, over 3,600 receiving yards, 46 touchdown catches, and 19 interceptions make him seem even more godly. 
Hasn't tested anywhere, but he's one of those prospects that doesn't need a run on the lasers to verify anything as his play speed trumps others. Quick to read and react on the defensive side of the ball. Likes to bait quarterbacks into making poor decisions. Elite ball skills and ability to elevate over other players helps him take away throwing windows. Shifty footwork makes him difficult to cover when he's on offense. Mixes gears well and is able to shake defensive backs with little crisp cuts. With crisp little cuts. Not afraid to lay out or get his jersey dirty either. Will eventually need to add some body armor to a rather weary frame that appears to be pushing 6 foot 1, as that will help him make stops in the alley or block out the perimeter. He has the tools to be a difference maker the second he steps foot on the college campus of his choice. Viewed by most recruiters and scouts as cornerback long term, but offensive coaches are likely going to be trying to get him some burn at wide receiver in situational packages. Should work his way onto the two deep as a freshman and then blossom into an impact player and potential All American. He will play on Sundays if there are no setbacks and has a chance to be selected day one of the NFL draft if he keeps progressing. So, yeah, to put it lightly, Travis Hunter is the real deal. And now, he's going to Jackson State to play for Deion Sanders. What Deion Sanders has done since being named coach at Jackson State is simply phenomenal. He led Jackson State to a 10-1 regular season record this year and the program's first SWAC East Division title in eight seasons. He was recently named the SWAC Coach of the Year. Deion Sanders had never coached at the college level before and he became Jackson State's coach in 2020. They went 4-3 during a pandemic-shortened season last year. But in year two of Sanders' tenure, he went undefeated in eight conference games. Their only loss was a five-point defeat on the road at Louisiana Monroe on September 18th. Deion Sanders is turning Jackson State into a powerhouse, and now he's getting the recruits to back it up. We live in a world now where it doesn't matter what school you're playing for, you're going to be able to make money off your name regardless of where you go. Now, I'm not saying that's the main reason Travis Hunter is flipping to Jackson State, but he's likely going to be making close to a million dollars at Jackson State, so you might as well go play for head coach Deion Sanders. There are already rumors swirling about a potential million dollar NIL deal in the works between Hunter and Barstool Sports. And you guys need to remember, Deion Sanders is a content creator for the company, and it looks like Hunter is going to be as well. So, in a way, although playing for Deion Sanders sure is great, it looks like by going to Jackson State, Hunter's going to be able to earn even more money because of this potential contract. Now, I'm sure he would have made a significant amount of Florida State, but again, when you're a young 17, 18 year old and you got a million dollar offer on the table, it seems really difficult to turn that down. So this is just the age of college football that we live in now, and I wouldn't be shocked if more players go this route in the future. This is something I've been saying for months, and it looks like it's coming to fruition today during signing day. I get that players want to go play for the top programs, they want to play for the top coaches, and set themselves up for the NFL draft in a couple years. But money talks. A lot of these players probably didn't have great upbringings, so if they have a million dollars on the table, it's going to be really difficult to see them turning that down. Plus, at the end of the day, talent wins out. I'm sure that Travis Hunter is going to thrive at Jackson State, and I don't think necessarily it's going to hurt his NFL draft stock when the time comes. So, what are your guys' thoughts on Travis Hunter and this historic news of him flipping from Florida State to Jackson State? Do you think it's the right decision for him going to an HBCU as opposed to going to Florida State, a Power 5 school? Whatever your thoughts are, let me know in the comments down below because I would love to hear what a lot of people have to say on this situation. Personally, I love it. I think it's amazing that a team like Jackson State is not only getting a 5-star recruit, but they're getting the top overall recruit in the entire country. I wouldn't be shocked if we see more moves like this the rest of the day, but I know we're definitely going to see moves like this in the coming years. Again guys, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to smash that subscribe button and turn on those notifications if you're new to the channel. If you love college football, then this is definitely the place for you. Also, if you'd like your favorite program to flip a 5-star recruit and land one today, make sure to give this video a thumbs up so that happens later today. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you all in my next video.